General Khalifa Haftar is Libya's most powerful military figure. Haftar revealed his plan to send his armed forces into Tripoli. The announcement is viewed by experts in Libyan affairs as a new declaration of war that will lead to an escalation of the armed conflict. General Haftar has convinced tribal leaders and militias in the West to join his forces. He defeated some Islamist groups in Sobrata. His forces are advancing to take Zawiya, which is located 45 kilometers west of Tripoli. The human cost for fighting in Tripoli will be heavy. An urgent political situation is the only way out. Some experts in Libyan affairs argue that General Haftar is only threatening to take Tripoli to put pressure on all Libyan parties and stakeholders to sit at the negotiating table. General Haftar's army is well equipped and trained. However, his announcement is just meant for the media. It's a kind of propaganda. He will not attack Tripoli. This scenario would have devastating results for Libya. Several UN-sponsored meetings on Libya were held in Tunis. Libyan delegations were unable to build consensus. Nevertheless, Ghassan Salami, the UN envoy to Libya, addressed a message on Friday to Libyans in the south in order to ease tension. I congratulate Libyans in the south for insisting on Libya's unity. Your demands and arguments were balanced during the negotiations to amend the political agreement. General Haftar's warning that his forces would enter Tripoli has made the already unstable security situation even worse in the northwestern city. The eighth article of the 2015 Skhirat Agreement that outlined the authorities of the Libyan army chief commander constituted a major disagreement during the UN-sponsored talks in Skhirat and Tunis. Analysts say all Libyans must make concessions to turn the page on years of war. Adnan Shawashi, CGTN, Tunis.